Hello everyone and welcome to yet another mail video. This one's actually like a week overdue um, because the, the mail was like coming in slow and I was like, okay, cool, we got this. Um, you know, we had to take a few days where we were working on stuff, but I was like, don't worry, we're going to get back to the mail. And then all of a sudden mail's like, <laughs> so mail's coming all the time. So we got to get started on the mail. So the first letter is from Andrew in Lake Jackson, Texas. And Mallory opened up the letter. Uh, these references make me want Taco Bell. Read on the vlog. I am Dan. 1962 was a long time ago. Day CDs banged. There is art on the back. There is art on the back? Well, I guess I'll we'll probably just show the art first because you guys are going to be looking at it anyway. It says Stephen Plays and there's also vlogs and it says I am Dan Q&A. Now you have to ask yourself if this is necessary. Then there's some various artwork about like the individual LPs. But let's get on to the leather, shall we? Please note that this letter is one month old, although at this point it's probably like five weeks, six weeks old. Dear Stephen Vlogs, or Stephen George, I am writing to you because one, it is something I don't usually do, the writing letters part, and two, because I just felt like it. I've made the journey twice. I've watched all of the old vlogs and I still do today. Anyways, with that out of the way, I have attached some fan art to this letter and maybe a Pokemon card or two. I've been a part of the YouTube world since, I think, 2007. Then I found out about you uh, two years later. I am also a fan of your Let's Play channel. A quick thing about me, I have a YouTube channel of my own, the 12th kind, and I too do Let's Plays. I am currently working on a video game that I hope will get done in the next year or so. I am also a Minecraft fan and am trying to do a custom app right now. But enough about me for the time being. I enjoy watching the vlogs and hope that you will check out my channel someday. As I am typing this letter, I do not know what I will do for the fan art, so I guess it will be a surprise. This is just an idea, but I think sometime in the future you should do a Let's Play of Goldeneye 007 for the Wii. You could use a GameCube controller for it. I can't wait for the upcoming Leaf Green LP. I should mention quickly, and this should be the title of the vlog, that it is safe to assume that my laptop cannot handle Amnesia the Dark Descent. And that's a reference to my MacBook cannot handle Portal, which, you know, was sad. Thank you for your time, Andrew, also known as The Twelfth Kind on YouTube. P.S. This is a hint for a side LP, 007. Actually, it's funny that you mentioned that because I was looking at possibly doing Goldeneye Reloaded for the 360. I've been reading a lot about it, and it's not Goldeneye 007, unfortunately. Like, it, it's like the the idea, but it's not like the same maps. So I don't know if I would love it or hate it. I played the demo of it and I liked it, and I don't know if people would be interested in seeing it or not, but I think I would be interested in playing it, and if enough people want me to, then I'll just, you know, LP it, and that would be a single-player LP coming up in the future. Uh, but Andrew also sent in a Magnemite, Doo -doo -doo, Magnemite, and we have an Electrifying Zap Shocking Energy, which go together. So now I can use Thunder Wave on you. You can try. Okay. I, I, I don't know if you guys can see that low. I just tapped it. I was like, Thunder Wave? If you tap it uh, in Pokemon, it's like, left is asleep, right is paralyzed, and upside down is confused. Did you know that? No, I've never played Pokemon. There's certain directions you turn, you place the cards, and if you're poisoned, there's actually poison counters. Then you take like 10 damage a turn or something. I know how to play Pokemon cards. I played all the time way back in the day. Anyway, Andrew, uh, thank you very much for the letter. And uh, if, if any of you watching right now would be interested in a, well, either a GoldenEye 007 for N64 or a GoldenEye Reloaded LP, because I'm considering both, because I like, I know I like GoldenEye 007. Um, let me know, because that's something that has been on my mind for a while. We're going to move on to the next letter, which is from uh, Daniel in New Jersey. It's a, what's it? I can't read EHC. It. EHC, New Jersey. What's EHC? I have no idea. Leather. That's the official leather fanfare. Did you know that? Now try to replicate it. Mine's better. <laughs> Take it, sex man. Anyway, uh, dear Stephen George and Mal, Sorry, I just got you just got it. I hope you get this letter and read it. Uh, if you did, that would be the coolest thing in the world. The coolest thing in the world is taking place right now. My life has been kind of rough, like getting everything I own thrown away. But I have my family, and I have Stephen Vlog and Stephen Plays and Nintendo. Well. <laughs> You sort of have no intent. I have really bad handwriting. Sorry about that. I am writing this letter to tell you that I always have a laugh at Fandle and Sammy 3.0 and how easy Kirby Superstar is. <laughs> Kirby Superstar is so easy. I just want to say for me, not only how much I appreciate your channels, but how much I appreciate what you do. Also, as a gift, inside the envelope, you will find a memory card for a Nintendo GameCube. 
All I can say is put in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, pop in the memory card, go to stage select, and pick the mystery icon in regards Omega X20. P.S. My YouTube name is Chocolate... I'm not 100% sure, but it's, it's Chocolate something. But I will figure it out, and I'll put it correctly in the in the description box. It also says, uh, PPS, it would be cool to show you or Mal playing the stage. This memory card cost me 20 bucks, so I hope you have Sonic Adventure 2 battles. PPS, it took me 303 hours to get all A's. Wow. Well, Daniel, I very much appreciate the letter, and I appreciate the, the memory card. That's something I've never gotten before that's interesting. And I do own Battle. Uh, I bought Battle when it came out. I spent way too much time in the Chow Garden. Like, holy crap. Um, but... You want to see me playing a stage on there, picking the mystery icon. Um, I don't know if we can do that in the mail video, but that might be something I can do like relatively soon on the vlog if I get a chance. But once again, thank you for the letter. Thank you for the memory card. We're going to move on to the next letter, which is from David in Mesquite, Texas. What an appropriate city name for Texas. Like, when I think of Texas, grilling comes to mind, so Mesquite, Texas is, like, perfect. So it'd be, like, Chicken Bog, South Carolina? Yeah, sort of. You start with that. Okay. Uh, Dear Stephen Amell, I sent a letter to you, and you read it on Stephen Amell, episode 5. I love your videos, and I am working on watching all of your LPs. We're actually approaching 700 videos, so that's... It's actually becoming just as... Actually, it's longer than the journey, because the LP videos are, are longer than... Yeah. The vlogs. Wow. So anyway, uh, right now I am on your Earthbound LP and I love it. I'm also looking forward to your Pokemon Leaf Green LP because as Earthbound changed your life, Pokemon changed mine. Actually, the first game I ever played was the alternative to Leaf Green, Fire Red. I've enclosed some pictures I drew, if I remember to. <laughs> now I have a few questions for you and Mal. Go to the Q&A page. Okay. Number one, have you played any other Pokemon games and if so, which ones? I own and have played Red, Blue, Yellow... Uh, gold, silver, ruby, sapphire, um, what's the ones after that? Beats me, I haven't beaten the game. Fire red and leaf green. Um, silver? I already mentioned that. Oh. Uh, heart gold, and I think heart gold was the last one I played. You didn't play black or white? Uh, I've never played black or white. Heart gold was the last one I got. I, I got pretty far into it. I actually checked my my save file on it the other day, and it, it's pretty far in there. I don't remember how many hours, but it's like 40 or 50, so I didn't beat the game either, and that's the first Pokemon title I haven't beaten the game, because I've finished red, I've actually finished blue and yellow, which is kind of weird, but I've finished the original 150 game like several times, and I've beaten Ruby. I lent Sapphire to my friend, and we played together, um, but I've never bought the third game in the series, like Crystal and Emerald. I mean, I'm yellow, but that was different, so... Anyway, two, are the dorms at SCAD nice? Because I want to go to SCAD when I'm older. Yes. Yeah. They're, and I'm jealous. They're pretty ballin'. Um, it's, I mean, it's a crap load of money to go to SCAD, which is very unfortunate because I am in debt forever. But uh, the, the dorms at SCAD are really nice. And uh, one of the things that I like about them that I learned, or not at all colleges, actually barely any colleges, is bathrooms. You will have your own bathroom. Well... With your roommates. Yeah, but you don't have to share with an entire floor, which is pretty sweet. In your own shower. Yeah, in your own shower. When you have to share a shower with the same people on the floor. It's so, not... it's pretty sweet. Uh, number three is PAX in the same place every year. There are two PAX events a year. Uh, there's one in March, and that takes place in Boston, Massachusetts. And there's one uh, Labor Day weekend, which is the one we're going to, that's called PAX Prime. And that always takes place in Seattle. Number four, what was your best memory playing Earthbound? <sighs> I think, I think my fondest memory, because I have a lot of them, I remember coming home every day in second grade, sitting down and playing Earthbound and, and loving every moment of it, uh, but I actually spent an abnormal amount of time in On It, and I think I know On It really, really well. Like I know what all of the citizens say and, and things like that, and it's just because I spent so much time playing it. What and, level were you before you finally left On It? I was so high. I mean, I it was like in the 20s or 30s for, for wow. all I bought the house before I left, which it, you have to play a lot. And it's just because, like, I, I don't know, it was just having fun. Like, it, it was a lot of imagination stuff, too, because I'm wandering around, and it, the game was so different from anything I had played. It was like a real town. Like, I could imagine, I could put myself in Ness's shoes wandering around, and I just thought it was really fun. Have you ever done the T-Bat challenge? Yep. 
I did that too. Yeah, if, if you're not aware of what the T-Bet challenge is, um, whenever you get Jeff for the first time, for the first time um, you'll notice that you are at a... Uh, there's a store outside there's a drug, Snowwood. There's a drugstore outside of the boarding school that sells the T-Bat, the, the T-Rex bat. Oh. T-Rex bat. And uh, you barely have any money to afford anything, but if you go and you fight, like, the goats and the crows and things like that for, like, maybe four or five hours, you actually get enough money to buy it. So you can buy it and bring it back with you and give Ness that bat, which he's not supposed to have for a long time, and Ness will be, like, really powerful for a while. So, kind of fun. Mm -hmm. um, number five, what is your favorite video game, Earthbound? Mother 3. Well, I guess, you know, we're a pretty good match. And we'll have we'll have a child, and they will love Mother 1. No. <laughs> We'll scold them, like, don't you like Mother 1? <laughs> no. David also sends art on really long paper. Well, it was cut in half. So it was a big piece of paper. Anyway, um, it's a lab, and it's me. It says Stephen with Professor Oak, and I'm picking Bulbasaur. This is going to happen really soon. It's exciting. I still haven't recorded Pokemon. It starts in, like, a week, and I haven't started recording it, but I've just been, like... You're awful. No, it's not me, though. It's just, like, there's so much going on. I've been so busy, it's, like, bothering me, because I know I need to do it, but I've been really busy. In fact, when I'm done recording the mail video, i got to go do a Skyrim and a Demo Friday. It's like, it's like my life! Ah, what's going on? Anyway, uh, but that'll be happening tomorrow, hopefully. And, uh, Bulbasaur! Balba! That's my Bulbasaur impression. Char! Char! Squirtle! Squirtle and Bulbasaur kind of sound the same, I think. I'm done doing Pokemon impressions. Anyway, David, thank you very much for the letter, uh, the questions, and the art. We're going to move on to the next letter, which is from Orland Park, Illinois. It's actually, it actually says Stephen should be reading at the top, so I know that I have to read this part. And it's dated, um, it's dated from actually July 9th, which is kind of a long time ago. But I think it was postmarked much later, so it's not like we've had this since July 9th, I promise. Seriously. Uh, anyway, most esteemed Drew. Uh, my name is Stephen George, but this letter was sent to me. I did not write it. The person in focus of the letter is named Drew. Your name in real life is Drew, but on the YouTubes you are known as Very Maybe. We know Very Maybe. We met him uh, at... Uh, Chicago. What's the name of the place? Mitchell. I was thinking of, like, Waukegan. Is Waukegan a place in yes. Wisconsin? No. Illinois. Or something, Illinois? It's Wilkegan, Illinois. We were in Arlington Heights. I, I'm kind of confused. Anyway, uh, you took the super generic route of finding my vlog because you saw the one entitled Chugga Conroy. This is, this is the most interesting letter I think I've ever gotten because it's me addressing Drew. Anyway. In you, Drew's words. <laughs> yes. It's interesting. Okay, anyway. Um, you watched this episode a bunch of times, and then th a thought came over you. This Steven guy must be the coolest. This threw you into the w winding vortex of staying up extremely late into the night, near nearly every night, watching my vlog from the better part of your freshman year in high school into the foreseeable future. You have completed most of the journey at this time, at the time this was written, and the hope is that you will have finished by the time I read this. You've seen odds and ends of me all over the Vimeo and the YouTube. In total, you are subscribed to five channels that that I have made on YouTube. You love Minecraft, and I believe it is safe to say that I do too. You haven't seen all of my Minecraft OP, though, because you are too preoccupied with your silly homework and school. In spite of bailing on the Minecraft series for now, you are enchanted by the Shadow of the Colossus LP because it introduced you to one of the most favorite and most frustrating games that you own. Epic, Epic does not begin to describe the scale. You have also seen some other LPs of mine, and you thought they were super cool. These include Portal 2, Half-Life 2, Portal, Kirby Superstar, God of War, Uncharted Sonic Generations, and you intend to watch Earthbound. I've inspired you to do YouTubes in the best of ways. You've tried countless times to maintain a channel in the past, but for now you're doing pretty alright with your first complete LP up on your channel. I've done so much, so much on my channels combined that I made it apparent to you maintaining a non-daily channel is certainly doable. This is probably because I maintain two of your favorite channels that are, in fact, daily, and at one point in time there were four daily channels, which is just utter insanity. Yes, I agree with myself in this letter. Uh, I've helped you into pursuing what has become one of your favorite hobbies, and you are welcome for that. Pass the letter to Mallory, if you please. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> it's, well, it's weird because you it actually, it's really hard to explain, but when you're reading it, it feels strange. 
Like, I was listening to you read it, and I'm reading along with you over your shoulder, and I'm like, oh, wait, that's, it's written it's, the other way. <laughs> it's, written, it's, it's actually really hard. From a comprehension standpoint, I don't know if it's going to be hard for you guys to understand, but it was like, it's it's really interestingly written because it's it's not backwards. It's just, it's kind of, back, whatever. Go ahead. Good luck. Hello, my name is Mallory, but once again, Drew's the one who wrote this. <laughs> I have caused Drew to make the shape of a heart with his hands on several occasions because of the flat out and kind considerate things I do for people. I'm always there for Steven and he is there for me. I teach kids to pay the bills, which is not always the most fun of all things. It's worth <laughs> it though because there are the kind of things you do for people you love. Although all the channels are called Steven something, there are a fair bit of me throughout the videos. This brings you great joy because Steven is cool on his own, but the Steven and Mallory super combo makes the best viewing experience on the internet. Can't do that anymore, but that's the end of my part. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then it says, now Drew is speaking directly. I hope you appreciate the writing style. I do. Now, it's a bit strange, I realize, but I also think this was a really cool way to write a letter since they are read aloud on Stephen Mail. Uh, anyway, I hope you appreciated how it was written, and if you don't, I give the highest level of apology I can muster from the absolute bottom of my heart. On to things now. I enjoy the vlog channel, the LP channel, and the short films in a severe capacity, and I view them all regularly. You have my thanks for doing all that you do, and I speak for all the Stevenites, past, present, and future, when I say that you are the coolest person, if not extremely close to it. Please never stop making content, because it's the best. I do want to leave you with the knowledge that, yes, I am indeed that not specifically talkative person whom you met at Mitsuwa on the 23rd of June, 2012. I decided that I should write a letter, and now you have read it, so thanks. I hope very much to meet you again in the future, but if not, it's okay, because I have video evidence of the time I met my favorite person from the internet. Stephen George. Oh, f the bread, Drew. Oh, man. I shouldn't have said that because now I have to like find a censor and put the censor in. Anyway, uh, postscript. I am including the BAS signed card I have, a Joker from a limited edition pack of bicycles. That's a cool background. For th that is cool. Is that the card? That's a cool playing card? Mm hmm. Are you trying to say? Is that no, I'm, there's a name for that. For what? The back. What back? The back face. There's a name for the back face? I, I think. But is it, it's is, a better name than back face. I was going to say, is it back face? <laughs> it might be back face. And it's signed, cool. signed up in the corner. Drew. I like playing cards. That's cool. I like that. I like that Joker, too. It's interesting. And it's like a... He does your eyebrow thing. <laughs> and there's also arts. <laughs> oh, it's it's a picture of me with no mouth, and it says, I hate mouths. And he also writes, rate me on the mail episode out of seven, please. And he also puts, sorry about the mouth, I hate them. This letter is seven out of seven, as I would say, easily. Uh, just because you, you did something no one else has ever done, which is really fun. Um, no one's ever tried that before. And it really caught me off guard because I didn't understand it for like the first like six sentences and I'm like, what's what's wrong with this letter? And then it was like, okay, and it, I had to wrap my mind around it, but it was fun. But Drew, it was fun to meet you and uh, I know your friend Robert was there with you that day. It was fun to meet you and everyone I met that day. It was fun. Um, and I really appreciate your letter. And interesting letters like this are fun. I'm sure that in the future there's going to be even more people that come up with other fun ways to to do letters, We're but don't get one in wingdings. I was about to say that it was about to come out of my mouth. I was like, but don't you dare send us a letter in wingdings because I'm not like I'm not translating that. I will just hold it up and be like wingdings, and then I will move on. I can't do that. That would be too much work. But uh, Drew, I appreciate it, and uh, we're going to move on to the last letter today. The last letter today is from where? Yeah, I know, right? Uh, Mark in Berryville, Arkansas. Arkansas. Hello, Stephen and Mal. I've been watching your blog and video game channels for some time now. I originally started watching Stephen and Mal play Minecraft at around episode 60 or 70. I then started to watch Stephen vlog a few weeks after that. I haven't started the journey yet, but I do plan on doing that soon. The two DVDs that I included with this leather is a concert I highly recommend you watch. I was able to see it in person at Tulsa, Oklahoma on May 5th. I had a lot of fun there. This is the whole album of Pink Floyd's The Wall being played live from beginning to end. Cool. Even though the album was produced in 79, the message is even more relevant today than it was back then. I hope you enjoy this concert in some way. The music holds a place in my heart because I used to build a wall and shut people out. I no longer have that wall around me anymore since life, putting it mildly, sucks when you're all alone. Dealing with your own insanity without help just makes it worse. That's all I have to say about myself. 
I would like to see your thoughts and reactions about the concert on your vlog if you don't mind. Anyway, have fun you two and enjoy life to the fullest. From faithful viewer, Mark Schwen. P.S. My last name gets misspelled and pronounced wrong so many times. It's pronounced like the bike and the greatest misspelled happened... Schwen. Mis yeah, Schwen. Greatest misspelling happened at a pizza restaurant. The lady asked what my last name was for an order, and when I look at the receipt, she condensed it to a four-letter word, Swin. I told her she took the cake for that. <laughs> Swin. So it's Schwen. Like, the bicycles. Yeah. Because, I mean, that's what I said. Oh, anyway. Um, cool. So we have... Uh, Pink Floyd's The Wall live, which is pretty sweet. I'm actually a Pink Floyd fan. Um, I'm pretty sure that I, I have, like, the greatest hits. I'm a lover of music, and in doing so, what I generally end up doing, because there's so many bands I'm really interested in, is that I get a hold of um, the Greatest Hits album. And I think at this point, I've got, like, tons and tons of music. But I've always enjoyed Pink Floyd. I've actually always been a big fan of classic rock. Um, when I was growing up, uh, my parents listened to a lot of country and gospel, but when I was with my dad, we listened to a lot of classic rock, which is really weird because my mom doesn't dislike classic rock, but it was I guess it was just something that, I don't know, me and him kind of did. And I, I listened to a lot of stuff, including Pink Floyd, um, because of that. And I'm, I'm a fan, so we will definitely check this out. I don't know when, but we will watch it at some point. So, Mark, thank you very much. What were you going to say about the envelope? There was a delivery confirmation on here. I just wanted to say here. <laughs> You're ridiculous. I know. You are absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, um, Mark, once again, thank you. Uh, Drew, everybody, awesome, awesome mail episode. I'm, we had a lot I'm of pleased. D's. David, Daniel, Drew. Yeah. Last one was Mark. But... Yeah, we did have a lot of D's. Interesting. But it was fun opening all of the mail. Um, if you guys are watching right now and you want to send a letter in, you can go over to the vlog channel page. Up in the top right corner is an address. Send stuff and we'll get it. And actually, we still have quite a bit of mail. So if you're watching, you're like, oh no, my letter's not there. Oh no, it, it probably is. Probably is. We um, And it's not that we're like really all that behind on mail. It's just you guys sent a lot of mail in a short period of time. I picked up three today. Yeah. Today. You, you told me you picked up four. So you probably was probably four. And the other day we had some more. So we've been getting a lot of the mail. So um, we will get to it as soon as we can. Give us a few more days and we'll, we'll get some more mail. But anyway, once again, thank you to everyone. And uh, join us again whenever it happens for another episode of Stephen Mail. Stephen, Stephen and Mal, Mal Mail. You know, if you take out the, the I, I, it's Stephen Mal. Mail. Stephen Mal Mail. I'm done.